Hey everyone, I hope all is well with you. Today, I wanted to come back around and give you a quick update on my experience sitting in the Seeker Lab Titan gaming chair. I've been sitting in my Seeker Lab Titan now for over eight months, and that has given me a little bit more perspective on the kind of quality it offers than when I first reviewed it. Now, just to be upfront, I have only reviewed four different racing style gaming chairs total, including the Titan, and the other three chairs that I've reviewed were all lower priced options. And so that's just to let you know that, and this is kind of a spoiler, while I have found that the Secret Lab Titan is an amazing chair to sit in, there are other quality options out there that I have not yet reviewed. But in any case, on my original review of the Titan, since then people have asked me how the PU leather is holding up, if the material on the armrests is still intact, and if I still like sitting in the Titan overall. And not to mention, Seeker Lab has released some different options on the Titan in that time span, and so I figured I'd give you an update on how the chair is holding up and what different options are available on it now. So for starters, and for those of you who didn't see the initial review, let me just give you a quick rundown on some of the features that stood out to me when I did the original review. First, there's a ton of room sitting in the Titan. It's made for average size to larger users, and it is really well built. The maximum weight capacity on the Titan is listed at 290 pounds, but honestly, I've seen cheaper chairs that aren't nearly as well built as the Titan that list higher weight capacities. Uh, for example, the GT Racing GT BEE chair that I just reviewed in my last video. Uh, and so, I don't know if there's just not a set standard that chair manufacturers are using when they list their maximum capacities, but definitely don't knock the Titan for having a lower listed weight capacity than other options out there. If anything, I think that might point to Seeker Lab's integrity as a company to list a legitimate weight capacity and not just one that will appeal to more users. And along with its durable build quality, the Titan also has plenty of adjustment options, including the standard height adjustment, and it also has 4D adjustable armrests, which means that the armrests can be adjusted up and down, side to side, backward and forward, and at an angle. The Titan can also recline backward up to 165 degrees, and perhaps my favorite adjustment feature is the Titan's built-in adjustable lumbar support. This chair does not come with a lumbar pillow. The lumbar support is built directly into the chair, and it can be adjusted using a knob on the side of the backrest. I've come to find that I don't really like using the lumbar pillows that come standard on most racing style chairs. They're just not that comfortable over the long term. However, the Titan's lumbar support can be dialed back a bit so you can and still get lumbar support, but without a huge bulky pillow to deal with. But those are all kind of the main features that I liked when I originally reviewed the Titan, and really all of those things still hold true eight months later. So really the main point of this update is to answer some of those questions I mentioned at the beginning of this video. First, how is the PU leather holding up? The synthetic leather on the Titan is holding up just fine for me. There's no cracks or peeling or fading or anything wrong with the leather. It's perfect so far. Now, PU leather is known to fade or crack or peel over time, and there are people out there who avoid synthetic leather at all costs because they have had bad experiences with it in the past, and if that's the case for you, that's completely fine. Secret Lab has recently released a fabric version of both their Titan and Omega series chairs, which they're calling their Soft Weave series. They also offer genuine leather versions of both their Titan and Omega series chairs as well. I personally have not sat in either the Soft Weave series chair or their genuine Napa leather series, and both of them do cost more than the PU leather versions of the chairs. But if you do want to avoid PU leather, Secret Lab does have alternative options. Also, on the material on the armrests, I believe it's a polyurethane coating. Everything is still intact there as well. And in fact, anything related to durability and build quality, uh, the Titan is not really any different than the day I got it. So in that regards, the chair is holding up just fine. Now the one gripe I did have about the Titan when I first reviewed it is that there was no all black version of the chair. I have the Seeker Lab Stealth Edition, which is black with red stitching and a gold stitch logo, but if I had had the option to choose my ideal color scheme for the Titan, I would have wanted a completely blacked out chair. Seeker Lab didn't have that at the time, but they do now offer an all black color scheme for both their Titan and Omega series chairs. So if you're like me and you want an all black color scheme, you can now get one. And I think one other point that I wanted to make that maybe I'm better able to make now that I've sat in a few other different options of chairs is that with gaming chairs, one of the biggest knocks you'll often hear on them 
is how unnecessary the bucket style seats that often come on them are. And to be honest, I agree. The bucket style seats just make you feel confined and aren't really comfortable to sit with, especially if you like to sit with your legs spread further apart. And that's one of the things I love about the Titan. It doesn't have exaggerated bucket style seats and that ultimately gives it a much wider and more comfortable seating base. The base isn't perfectly flat on the Titan, which I do think would be the ideal way to design the chair, but it is pretty close and so you can sit with your legs wider than on some of the other options out there where the bucket style seats won't allow for it. There are other high-end gaming chairs that also offer seat bases that don't have the over-exaggerated bucket style seats. I think Maxnomic or Need for Seat offer a very similar model to the Titan, and I know DX Racer's Big and Tall series comes with a flatter seat base as well, and I'm sure there are others out there too. The bottom line though is that if you are looking to get a racing style gaming chair, just note that the options that come with deeper bucket style seats can be restrictive, but if that's not something you can handle, there are options that forgo the bucket style seat to give you a wider base, the Seeker Lab Titan being one of them. Ultimately though, while I may no longer have that initial excitement that comes from getting a brand new product with the Titan anymore, I still love the chair and it has exceeded my expectations. So I do recommend the Titan for medium to larger users who are looking for a higher end racing style gaming chair that will hold up well over time. If you want to check out the Titan, I have linked to it in the description below. That is an affiliate link and I will get a commission if you do end up purchasing the Titan through my link. Of course, I greatly appreciate any support and you can always just just go to seekerlab.co and get the chair that way as well. In any case, that does it for this updated review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time.